Enough with this game of cat and mouse. I'm tired. I have to finish things off before his students get here. Was that? I don't know. They want to come in. What if it's the soldiers? Soldiers? Yes. Let's run. Soldiers, we would have heard their threats. What do you mean? Wait. Open up, hurry up. Who are you? It's me. Open up. Won't you open the door? No, Zobir, stop. It's Ismail, an old friend of mine. Jabir, the governor's soldiers are on their way here. You have to hide somewhere else. Where? I don't know. We have to get out of here. Wait a moment. Let's go, Zobir. Where? I don't know. Let's just go. Do not bring a weapon. I'll go. You do follow me. Just keep a distance. Jabba should never have trusted him, and let him get so close to us. It's very possible that he could have tricked anyone else, too. He's like a wolf dressed in sheep's clothing. He acted so innocent and calm that if you didn't know the reality of his past, you'd think he was an angel. Are you sure you saw him in Armer's shop? I know his eyes very well. Aside from being a bandit, he's a backstabber, too. I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about Jabba, son of Haiyan. Master? Master! Come in. Hello, Master. Hello, Shockey. What's up? Nothing. Bad news, I'm afraid. Has something happened to Jabba? I think so. I found his house. 
but there was no one there. I asked around, and they said the soldiers had attacked his house today. Was he arrested? Nobody could tell me. But I think so. Yes. So he finally did it. God help you, Zabir, if I ever find you. He was moaning from the pain and fever till the morning. He didn't sleep at all, or let us sleep either. He's so weak he cannot discharge. I have to make him an herbal mix. I would need some medicine. I wish Esmail would come home sooner. No need. You must have faith in God. Zobair! Zobair, you have to go somewhere. Go where? To the Itar in the Kufa Bazaar. Buy a bit of borage and hyacinth. Also, some dried lemons. A bit of rock sugar, too. Be careful not to say anything to anyone about me or you. I should have finished you off yesterday. Is something wrong, Zobair? No. I was thinking if we were in Basra, I'd go to the herb shop of Ibn Meshkin. He is a fantastic man who has every kind of herb that you can imagine. Try to get back quickly. The little boy isn't doing well. Sorry, where exactly did you say the shop was? It's right in the middle of the bazaar. Zobair. Try to do the right thing and pay for the things that you buy. Yes. Zobair. If the shop owner asks you the name of the physician, don't say my name. Rest assured. Years ago, there was a great physician in Kufa. All the people in the city would visit him. His name was Jaber. Jaber, son of Hayan Tusi. He was kind and experienced. They said he had gone to Khorasan. The people of Kufa still recall the name Jaber, son of Hayan. When anyone gets sick, they wish Jaber were in Kufa. The mixture you want now is like the medicine Jaber would prescribe. When you told me what you want, I thought Jaber has returned to Kufa and is curing the sick again. This mix is something that I came up with myself. But you are right. Jaber is exactly like you say he is. The similarity of the medication is because I was a student of Jaber's, yes. You mean you're Jaber's son of a young student? Yes. I studied with him for years in Khorasan. If that's so, tell me where you live, so I can send all of the sick to you. Oh, no, no. I'm only a guest in Kufa for just a few days. Leave it to later. Enough? Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Aha! The famous bandit from Basra. You look like you're off shopping like a regular old housewife. Whatever's happened to your pride, man? I left it with you. I knew you wouldn't know what to do with it. Follow me. Well, tell me, what did you do? I wanted to finish him off yesterday, but the government soldiers attacked his house and ruined my plans. The governor of Basra has said that government soldiers shouldn't find out. Listen to me, Zabir. But a bandit like you, snatching a man like Jabba should be as easy as pie. You know what I mean? 
Now don't give me any excuses. How's the love for that girl weakened you? Look at me carefully. I am Zobert. Even that governor who you're so proud of and serve is scared of my name. If you see me like this, unable to do something, it's because the governor is the only person in the world who could solve my problem. So listen up carefully to what I'm saying. If you mention that girl's name one more time, I will slit your silly throat. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? What's with all the anger, young man? I'm saying this for your own sake. If I could get into their house like you can, do you know what I'd do? Shall I tell you then? I owe Jaber a huge amount. I just can't. I can't hand him over to the governor of Basra. Don't act so crazy. Sooner or later he will be caught. You don't want to lose the reward you'd get. And I know how well the governor of Basra rewards people. I have not done this because of the governor's coins, you hear me? I know. I know. You're right. You don't want to lose the chance to become Envan's son-in-law. You are in a dilemma, I would agree. That's true. But I have to send an answer to the governor. I absolutely cannot do this in Kufa. I'm sure everyone will be suspicious of me. I don't want to lose Envan's trust. Give me a chance. A chance for what? We will be leaving Kufa very soon, maybe. But why ever would you be leaving Kufa? I don't know. It seems he's looking for someone. Someone he's travelled all the way from Basra to see. Zerare. Ah. I knew he was here to see Zerare. Do you happen to know where they're headed? No. I only know that they're leaving Kufa. Very well. I'll give you another chance. You should go with them. Trying to get them to trust you. Trapping Zarari is more important than anything else. Who is he? He alone is worth an entire treasury, I assure you. You have to find out where he's hiding and what he's doing. Go, oh, Zabir. Go. Oh. I have better things to do now. But don't leave me uninformed. If you did that, you know that I'd be forced to. You can rest assured. Good. Go. I don't know why my heart and hand don't go together. My heart says one thing and my hand wants to do something else. What should I do? I don't know. I don't know. May God bless you, Jaber. If it weren't for you, my son wouldn't have made it. God willing, we will be able to make up for it. Your presence with us here is a blessing from God. God is the one who heals. I'm simply a tool. Wherever he goes, he's praised and adored. Who is this man? I saw Mormon this morning. He was worried about you. I told him you're safe. He said you should go to the caravansary to Envan and wait for him. Thank you for putting yourself in danger for us. Thank you. Thank you, Jaber. Well, Zobert, let's go. We don't have much time. I really must thank you too, brother, for going through the trouble of buying us medicine. May you always be a companion and friend of believers. Oh, it was nothing, sister. Zobert is my friend and his friends are my friends too. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's go. God be with you. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. God be with you.
soldiers might follow us. Come with me. Wait. I have thought about this for a long time, and I am sure the deductive analogy known as Kias is one of the most important criteria of Sharia laws. This option is fixed and cannot be denied. That is Abu Hanife's voice. Therefore, I repeat, one more time, that deductive analogy is one of the most important criteria of the holy religion of Islam. We have to place it next to the other criterion, like the book and tradition. If you want to learn, sit and do not disturb the class. Hello, Naman. Who are you? I heard your voice in the alley and I thought I'd come in so that we could talk about the days that both of us were students of our leader, Jafar ibn Muhammad. Do you remember me? Well, well. Jabba, son of Hayan. Welcome to Kufa, brother. You don't know how happy I am to see you. It is such a great honor for me to have Jabbar, son of Hayan, here in my class. We had great days in Medina. All of the things that we learnt. I've always asked about how you have been. I heard you say that deductive analogy is one of the most important criteria of the religion. Yes, yes, I was telling my students that it's like the other important criteria, like the book and tradition. Well, that is the problem, Abu Hanife. You have to remember what our teacher, Jafar ibn Muhammad, said. The first to have ever used a deductive analogy in God's will was the devil who compared himself with mankind. Religion and its laws cannot be resolved with deduction. It would be best you stopped using it and use what information our leader has taught us. Take a break so that I can talk to my old friend for a few moments. Please. But in my studies, I've come to the conclusion that deductive analogy can be one of the criteria of the laws. Of course, at times the opposite is proven to be right. I am surprised at someone like you who has been the student of Jafar ibn Muhammad for two years. If you find opposing arguments in something, you cannot call it a general law. I accept that. That is why I've said time and time again, if I hadn't spent two years with Jafar ibn Muhammad, I would have died. It is the same teachings that now help me in my own teachings in my classes. Our duty is to teach the correct verdicts, Abu Hanife. I am glad that if I cannot be with Jafar ibn Muhammad, at the very least I can be with his friends. I told you, Jabba, this man cannot be trusted. But what for? He has been with me since yesterday and hasn't done anything wrong. May God punish me if I do something to upset you here, okay? I don't know how you can betray someone so easily and want to trap Jabber, a man who assisted you and helped you get out of prison. I have no idea what you're talking about. About your plot, about wanting to return Jabba to the dungeon. But I am right here in full health standing next to you. So do not condemn him for something he hasn't done. You weren't in danger at all last night? We were. The soldiers came to my house, and with the help of a friend, we escaped. But I don't think that has anything to do with Zaubert. It does, sir. How so? I saw him myself at Ahmed, the spy shop. He was hiding. I told you he can't be trusted, Jabber. Someone who has earned a living by being a bandit has sold his heart to the devil. Betrayal is the minimum a wicked man like he is capable of. You had gone to the fabric shop yesterday, Zobert? Yes, I had. What on earth for?
I did indeed go to that shop yesterday. I didn't know what his name was, and I didn't know that he was a notorious spy. I had gone to buy a small present for Envan's daughter, maybe. Maybe. Keep an eye on my shop, will you? I'll be right back. Come get watermelons. Come get watermelons. Come and get your watermelons. Then be real careful. Gather up all your things, and I will come and get you in the evening so we can go. So we'll be in the desert at night? No. In the groves. I suggest you don't come back to Kufa after seeing Zurare. Things are getting worse by the day here. Gather up everything. Feed the horses properly. God willing, we will leave Kufa in the evening. Rest assured, Master. I fed the horses so much, they won't be needing food for days. Load my belongings, too. It seems we can't stay at one place. God damn these cruel people. They have left no peace for the Muslims. My dear brothers, I have to go home. I have prepared non-flammable paper for Zorare. Non-flammable paper? Yes. He will be able to use it to write down the hadiths. God bless you, but it's dangerous. I'm afraid you might get caught at the last moment, and then what will happen? If you let me, I swear to you that I will do it. Do not worry. I might not know anything else, but I know how to escape from soldiers. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Sure. <laughs> Goodbye. So beer. What are you doing here? Come on, tell me now, what is it? They're on the move, are they? Yes. They are going to be leaving Kufa. And where are they headed? I don't know. But I think it's very far. And where are you going? I am simply going to get your bear's stuff. Very well. Go. But you'd better take good care. Because I'll be following you every step. And God help you if you do anything wrong. Thank you. 
Hello, brothers. Hello there. More power to you. God bless you. Are you ready to go? Yes, my friend. We are ready and excited. Very well. We'll have to leave all our belongings here in the yard, you see, and then we have to walk. Didn't you say that it's far away? I said outside Kufa. I didn't say it's far. We can walk. So Zorare is near here? Yes, but we have to pretend he's far from Kufa. Choki, stay here and look after your belongings. If they ask about us, tell them we've gone to gather in Kufa. It's best we leave from the stable quietly, one by one. I will go first, and you should follow me. All this caution is necessary. It won't do us harm. If they find out he's near here, they won't have mercy. Chalky. Yes, Master. Give me the chest with the hadiths. The chest. Allow me to bring it. Very well. Keep an eye out. Goodbye. 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 Safe travels. More power, Zobert. I'm not tired. Let me help you. No. I'll bring it. Cherish the moments that you have right now. What do you mean? The writings you are carrying in your hands. They are the words of light, Zobert. Not everyone is blessed enough to carry these writings in their hands. Only those who have the honor, who are deemed worthy by God, and He wants to shine a light on their lives. Take this as a good omen and use the opportunity as best you can. I don't understand what you just said. I want Zolfa, and I will accept anything that happens with heart and soul. Now that you have this chest in your hands and are a member of our caravan, your life is different from the past. Right now, your only crime is not escaping from prison or are your actions related to it. From this moment on, in the eyes of the Caliph's men, you've committed a greater crime by accompanying us. What are you saying, Jaber? What could be written on these pieces of paper to make the Caliph and his men so uncomfortable? God's commands. The true way of life. That's it? Yes. Now you're one of Jafar ibn Muhammad's men. No, my friend. I'm the same Zobir the bandit who has accompanied you. Why do you underestimate yourself, Zobir? What you will get is much more than being able to marry Zolfa. Change your intentions, Zobir. If you want me to understand what you're saying, then speak in my own language. Or say something that I can understand. Now, instead of thinking about Zolfa, think about God. Look up at the sky, Zobert. The sky? Make it your intention to satisfy God. That way, you will have Zolfa and paradise. Paradise? Yes, paradise. People like me don't make it to heaven. With the past that I have had, I only belong in hell. All you have to do is give your heart to God. I have to think about the things you say. Maybe I'll understand them. Maybe... I don't know. You might be right. But giving your heart to God is difficult. Do not forget this one thing, Zobert. What is that? The path you're talking is like walking on the edge of a blade. It is very dangerous and scary. 
Do all you can so that no one finds out about yours and Envan's secret. If someone finds out about your relationship with the friends of our leader, many lives will be put in danger, Zobair. <laughs> you have underestimated, Zobair. I do not fear to give my life for friendship. We are behind. Let's go. Hurry up. 